It wasn't a perfect campaign. There is no such thing. Um, but I was on the way to winning until the combination of Jim Comey's letter on October 28th and Russian WikiLeaks raised doubts in the minds of people who were inclined to vote for me but got scared off. And the evidence for that intervening uh, event is, I think, um, compelling, persuasive. Uh, and so we overcame a lot in the campaign. We overcame an enormous uh, uh, barrage of negativity, of false equivalency, and so much else. Um, but as Nate Silver, who I, you know doesn't work for me, he's an independent uh, analyst, but one considered to be uh, very reliable, you know, has concluded, you know, if the election been on October 27th, I'd be your president. And it wasn't. It was on October 28th, and there was just a lot of funny business going on around that. And ask yourself this. Within an hour or two of the Hollywood access tape being made public, the Russian theft of John Podesta's emails hit WikiLeaks. What a coincidence. So, I mean, you just can't make this stuff up. So, did we make mistakes? Of course we did. Did I make mistakes? Oh my gosh, yes, you know, you'll read my confession and my, <laughs> my request for absolution. But the reason why I believe we lost were the intervening events in the last 10 days. And I think you can see I was leading in the early vote. I had a very strong, and not just our polling and, and data analysis, but a very strong um, assessment going on across the country about where I was uh, in terms of you know, the necessary both votes and electoral votes.